Now, uh, what I, I'd hope to do, I uh, have time enough to do, is to give you the nine reasons why I think the renewed quest happened and why I think it's, it is a plausible thing. Do, do we have time to do that in the hour we've got left? Uh, this, uh, for those of you that were lucky enough to get a $100 copy of Honest to Jesus, uh, this list is in chapter 4, beginning on page 66. I was just told, by the way, um, as I got ready to come up here by Char, that another shipment has arrived, uh, and the price now will drop to $75 a copy. <laughs> Uh, so if you want to look at that list and are fortunate enough to have a copy, it's on page 66. I, I tried to elaborate these. I'm, I'm not going to elaborate them here, but I think it's worth listing them and just mentioning what's involved. First and foremost, I don't want to take much credit for what has happened because I think we've just, we just came to the end of an era. History, uh, fads, uh, theses, hypotheses, points of view have a life cycle. And they get, uh, when they're young and fresh, and they're resilient and uh, influence a lot of people, and then they get old and tired and eventually die. And I think the Schweitzer's view of Jesus just died in part of old age. So that's the first, perhaps the most important reason. A second reason is that in the meantime, a new secular mode of biblical scholarship arose. Many of us moved out of seminaries into secular institutions, no longer responsible to ecclesiastical organizations. Uh, so we were able to pursue things in a wholly new way. A third thing that happened is that we got over our parochialism. Uh, I don't think you can tell the denominational backgrounds of most of the members, fellows of the Jesus Seminar, by their positions on various topics. That is, it, there is just no denominationalism involved in scholarship at this, well, I shouldn't say no denominational, but, but it is, it has greatly receded, and it is not evident uh, at most levels of our work. So that genuine ecumenical conversations in the academic world are not only po possible, they're everyday affairs. Now, I don't know why the churches have not awakened to that fact. Uh, I know that many of them sense the dangers uh, in their theological institutions, many of the faculties that I've taught in, uh, that also could be said about those faculties, that, that they were really not denominational faculties. Uh, when I was at Drew in its heyday, uh, the Methodist Church decided one to find out why Drew was going to the dogs. That is why it was becoming famous, why it had so many non-Methodists on its faculty, uh, why it attracted so many students, why it was so vigorous. So they conducted an investigation of us, and, and after consulting many authorities and in, interrogating us for many hours, they decided that Methodist theology was theology taught by Methodists, which I thought was a rather remarkable conclusion. <laughs> and then the next year, 27 of the 32 faculty resigned. That is, what they did was to take away the endowment of the seminary, in order to get rid of some of the big shots. Fortunately, I was already gone. I had gone back to Vanderbilt in the meantime, but it really did destroy that faculty, and it probably has not recovered yet. So the church doesn't seem to have learned the lesson in the way in which we, I think, have learned it in the academic world. Another reason is the end of the Christianized age. And Christianity really lived out of the industrial prowess of Western, advanced Western societies, so that being a missionary meant that you took Western culture to other parts of the world as much as you took the gospel or you took the gospel wrapped in Western culture. We have gotten over that to a certain extent, I suppose, but in any case, we can no longer think globally the way we thought just a hundred years ago. I've already mentioned the rediscovery of the parables as, as the fifth reason that gave impetus to the renewed quest. At the same time was the rediscovery of the wisdom tradition. We don't talk much about this, but as you know, in the traditions of Israel, the traditions of Israel are usually divided into three parts. The law, the five books of Moses, the prophets, the former and the latter prophets. We know a great deal more about those than we know about the third part, the wisdom tradition. But it was during this period 
that we rediscovered the wisdom tradition is perhaps the heart of Israel's tradition because it was the tradition that was carried by the people rather than by the professionals. So the rediscovery of wisdom caused many of us to begin to rethink uh, the place of Christianity uh, as a wisdom tradition as opposed, let us say, to a legal or prophetic tradition. Then there was the discovery of new sources, the Dead Sea Scrolls and the Nag Hammadi Library, and many papyri and other finds uh, that have modified our views of what was going on during this period. Uh, perhaps the, one of the most important features in these developments was the end of canonical imperialism. That is the end of the age when we only looked at the things in the New Testament or in the canonical limits and we began to look at all of the sources that had survived from antiquity and had looked at them rather even-handedly that made a big difference. And then finally and, and perhaps most significantly in the long run was the collapse of the symbolic universe that had been in place for almost two millennia, well more than two millennia actually. Uh, beginning in the Middle Ages with the Renaissance and then the Enlightenment and then the Industrial Revolution, our notions of what the world is like, the physical universe, but also our social world, have so radically changed that uh, we can no longer accept the worldview that is in place uh, in these ancient religious texts. We have to think through what it means uh, to have a truth or a message uh, that has to be put in an altogether different framework than the one is given it in these biblical texts. Well, those are the principal reasons why um, I think it has been that the new quest, the renewed quest has started up and the reason that it may hope to succeed. Now we have a minutes left. Uh, uh,